Hello and welcome. Let me show you my next little project. It's a simple text scroller controlled via the internet using Arduino Cloud. Let's have a look. Here it is. And all it does is scrolls a message, a message I can change. Here's what the dashboard looks like. The dashboard accessible through the Arduino Internet of Things Cloud, the IoT Cloud. I made a dashboard that does a few things. It allows me to set the message on the display. So right now it's displaying the company name. If I click on special, it will now display the special message and so on. It also tells me that the room is in between light and dark. It's level three out of 10. It's not very bright in this room right now. It tells me which message is actually playing. So even when I change it on the box itself, it changes. See, I just set it to company name by pressing the button on the back of the box. And now I set it to the passport photos and I set it to film developing and so on. So that's the message. Uh, it displays temperature, humidity and barometric pressure. I'll probably still change that to get less decimals. And very importantly, in all my projects, I have a little uh, status variable and every half second I change that status variable from a space to some status. In this case it says limits. Why? Because the humidity is 25% and that is too dry for comfort. 30 to 50 is a comfortable range for humans. So that's the scroller. Now of course it's easy to add things to this like a long-term trend for temperature or humidity or barometric pressure. They can be quite fun as well. But in this case, it's really just to see if I'm not in the office, whether the office is still up and running and comfortable and the lights are on and what message is in fact being displayed. So let's have a quick run through of the code. First of all, header includes and definitions, all the libraries, more about which in the manual, which is linked in the show notes. Uh, the code is also in there as well, as well as uh, lots more information. So we have all the includes, we have the definition, we have the pre-programmed messages. So there's uh, eight pre-programmed messages. We could do that in a different way if we needed more flexibility. For example, if we needed to change the messages rather than select between them. But that's not necessary in this device. I just need to be able to select between them. Uh, change will be very, uh, very rare and infrequent. And when that happens, I can just upload a new app via of course, the web, the Internet of Things. Uh, all the counters, lots of counters, because instead of delays, you always use counters that look at, uh, that use millis to do things at selected times. Setup, serial port. Interesting thing to note is in the serial uh, interface, I, in the loop, um, I display the number of loops that the machine runs through every second. That's a good debugging device. If I screw up, that suddenly goes from 80,000 to 200. That means I'm doing something that's taking too much time. So some more household stuff, uh, preparing all uh, the counters and so on. And then we get to the actual loop. So in the loop, what do we do? Well, first of all, I update the Arduino cloud every 10 milliseconds. Uh, in the sketch that Arduino generates for you, it is executed 80,000 times a second or something like that. In other words, every time the device loops. I prefer to do it less frequently. Every 10 milliseconds is more than enough for possible contact and um, that cuts down a lot on the number of loops. It cuts down on the traffic. It cuts down on the load to the back end as well. Uh, I measure the brightness because the brightness uh, depends on what the light dependent resistor at the back of the unit sees. In a dark room, the brightness is turned down. If it's bright, the brightness of the display goes up. Here's the loops per second. Um, I flash an LED a few times a second. Uh, then once a second, I change or I measure the temperature, humidity, uh, and I set the, um, the limit indicator. If the temperature is uncomfortable or the humidity is uncomfortable, I indicate that as a limits warning in the Arduino backend. Then every couple of seconds, I get the temperature, the bar barometric pressure and so on. So I measure them every two seconds. That's not in, in order not to overload the sensors 
And every two seconds is more than enough to see how the temperature varies. I check if the button is pressed at the back. If it is, I change the message to the next message on. So um, if the message number is changed in the back end, that is called by the function at the end and it changes the message number accordingly. So of course the interesting thing is the back end here because making a little scrolling display is all very well. But if I can change without having to go to the unit uh, and see if it's running and so on, that would be a good thing. And so that's exactly what happens. Let me show you the inside. It's remarkably simple. The circuit diagram is simple. A couple of sensors, a light dependent resistor with a resistor pull up to set the brightness of the display. The Arduino Nano ESP32, a switch and LED, logic level converter to get to 5 volts for the display, and the display itself. It's all mounted on strip board with tracks cut. The front and back are custom, but the display case is standard. I mount things into those custom fronts and back. The circuit board is screwed onto posts that are glued to the case. And wiring is kept to an absolute minimum. And there you have it. Simple and reliable.